Hello, welcome back to GGN. This is part two for this news report today. Should just be two videos for Thursday, July eighteenth, twenty thirteen, and I'm Darko. All right, I'm ready to go here. There won't there won't be any videos tomorrow, uh, Friday or Monday. So I thought I'd do them today. It says here anger over anti-vaccine. Jenny McCarthy as view host. So we're obviously going to be covering weather modification and uh, uh, some really negative eugenics here. It says here. Critics pile on ABC's decision. The View has apparently traded one controversial blonde for another. As expected, Jenny McCarthy was officially named Hasselbeck's replacement on the daytime talk show. But it uh, says here she's given a huge platform for which to air her well known belief that childhood uh, vaccines cause autism. Of course, the mainstream media doesn't like this. Um, says here, one author cri uh, critic describes McCarthy as homicidal maniac. Homicidal maniac. These people, these pharmaceutical companies, are pharmaceutical are uh, homicidal uh, maniacs. These pharma uh, basically pharmacists that put out all these drugs that alter people's behavior, have all these side effects. They're homicidal maniacs. The doctors that prescribe them, they're homicidal maniacs. You try to you ask the doctors, do you vaccinate your kids, doctor? Oh no, we don't. It's dangerous, is because look at this. And the view audience as impressionable moms with young kids a bad combination. So see, you don't want you don't want to put out good information that will help people to the mainstream media. No, that's a bad combina combination. Now this this whole story it really just kind of pisses me off. I'm sorry, but it says here anti McCarthy letter writing campaigns ABC were organized by both left and right leaning media decried as a threat to public health. Look at this comment. It is best to avoid debating or even engaging in debating-like behaviors with anti-vaxxers uh, for to do so only lends credence to crackpot notions that deserve one. So these people, you know, vaccinate your own kid. You want to you put, you put some, uh, some poison in your kids? You go ahead and do it, but don't tell somebody else what to put in their body. You know, when, you know the, they're not just sheeple. These people, these people are very dangerous. They're telling you what to do. They're telling you how to run your life. And they don't know a damn thing about anything. Fifty children, they have no, you know, no skepticism at all about anything. They just buy what they're told by the, quote, authorities. Fifty children paralyzed by mass hysteria. After becoming paralyzed after meningitis vaccines, 50 children and their parents are told it is probably the result of mass hysteria. Appears, it says here, it's, uh, it appears any behavior is acceptable as long as the population remains calm and vaccinations continue. So, African children still paralyzed after vaccine. Government says it's all in their head. Muslim scholars fight to dispel polio vaccine myths in Pakistan. That's right, people actually get killed uh, for going in there trying to uh, uh, vaccinate their children. So, but they're militant Islamists. These are, these, are, these are people that are against the New World Order, I guess you could say, have spread conspiracy theories about vaccinations. Just a quick point. These militant Islamists, they call them that. But what they won't say is that um, uh, the people that are in Syria are actually not even really jihadists or, or Islamists at all. They're just mercenaries. So they want to make the difference here about vaccinations, which has contributed to a resurgence in polio. But it's also actually um, it's actually also led to a resurgence in paralysis. That's right, paralysis that's been tied to the polio vaccines. I tried to relocate that article. I couldn't do it. You can try it if you want. But this is all sponsored by Bill Gates, who believes in reducing the population. So you can do the math. I don't know if you can do the math, but uh, it says here, evidence of narcolepsy in kids from H1N1 swine flu shock rose in Europe. This is all news that you're aware of, but thought I'd follow with that Jenny McCarthy article. Hundreds of European children have developed the incurable sleep disorder narcolepsy after being immunized with a swine flu shot. That's right. Japan halted the vaccine use after deaths of four children. This is just from uh, July, what, July 3rd? Or actually, this is from 2011. I thought it was a newer article. Anyways, it says here, Japan has temporarily stopped using the vaccines from the U.S. drug maker Pfizer. So it says here, investigated the deaths of four children who were inoculated, the health ministry said. Our insecticide lays foods kill at least 22 children in India. This is from July 7, 2013. They say some of the food wasn't properly washed and dozens of children are dead. That's why I always think it's funny when people wash their, their produce and it's not organic. It's just like, dude, there's it's poisoned. <laughs> it's already poisoned. It's in the food. You know, it might actually be, in this upside down world, it might actually be healthier just to eat it with the dirt on it. 22 children died and more than two, dozens, uh, two, two dozen others were sick after eating a free lunch. So obviously it wasn't free at all. I have more background on it. You have to remember, India, you have um, the GMO farmers basically uh, committing suicide, or record numbers, just large numbers that people don't know about. 
Um, you also have people getting sterilized there. Um, it, uh, it did, some don't know it, and some actually get like a free car for getting sterilized. It says here, preliminary tests suggest that the food had traces of phosphorus used to preserve rice and wheat. Free meals are offered to poor students at government schools as part of the country's welfare measures. Free lunches are popular with poor families, I wonder why, and are considered as a way to increase school attendance so they get brainwashed, right? So this is what they think about the uh, the poor people, right, and aboriginals. Hungry aboriginal people used in bureaucrats' experiments. Food historian published details of nutritional experiments that began in the 1940s. So they're appalled to hear hungry aboriginal children and adults may have been used in unwitting subjects in nutritional experiments. Scientists say warfare was uncommon among hunter-gatherers. So warfare was uncommon among hunter-gatherers and killings among nomadic groups were often due to competition for women or interpersonal disputes. So I love these people that say, uh, you know, the Native Americans or whatever, oh, they were killing each other before we got here. Yeah, what do we replace it with? Uh, World War One, World War II, uh, Civil War, you know, just you know, 30 million here, uh, 50, 60 million here. Uh, you know, th that's what it's all about, right? That's for resources. We're more civilized uh, than these people who had little skirmishes where, you know, maybe a hundred people died here. At the most, maybe a thousand. Two years after nuclear, uh, maybe I'm off. Maybe it's 10,000, but 60 million. So I know I'm, I had to say that to take the time, waste time for people in the common board to say, oh, but there were 15,000 that died at the blah, 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 blah. Two years after nuclear disaster, Japan spawns freaky veggies. So a uh, pretty scary picture. Uh, you know, and they planted there. Japanese government said, hey, it's A-OK. -okay. Start planting again, guys. So just imagine how that's going out to the aquatic life and stuff. UK hot weather claims 760 lives in nine days. The hot weather has claimed the lives of up to 760 people between July 6th and July 15th. And they've been harping the crap out of us. Um, before, uh, it was actually a lot, it was a lot more red over here. Um, but this is that was two days ago. Now this is the most current uh, 717 current long wave frequency magnitude readings. So, and uh, right now uh, here in the Midwest, we it is hot. Uh, so you know you go here and uh, basically they're going to say severe threat from Midwest to Northeast through Saturday. And this uh, uh, highly effeminate uh, anchor here isn't going to tell you about this, is he? They may know about it, but he can't talk about it. Just like Jenny McCarthy shouldn't be really talking about vaccinations. This is what's going on. The current temperature earlier today was uh, 95 degrees, felt like almost 100. That's what they say. Uh, but you have to remember about drought. Last year, we had the same thing at the same time. There was no spraying. There's been no spraying. That's what I observed. No spraying. Uh, poofy clouds. Actually, I, I take that back. There is spraying, but there's not heavy spraying where they're cloud busting. You know what I'm talking about? Where it's just smeared shit up there of chemicals and aerosols. No, they actually are leaving puffy clouds, but they're spraying a little in between, doing real kind of like real weird shapes. They're just kind of double backing and doing these arcs. So I don't know what they're doing, but they're not spraying as heavy. And they're not busting clouds, and they're just harping the crap out of us. So I think that they're trying to cause a drought, just like they did last year. Same patterns. Amidst heat wave, county shuts off water the major water main and dc area needs to be replaced so that's nice because you have like the utah spy center that's spying on everybody it needs 1.7 million gallons of water a day in a place that really needs water but hey they'll tell you stuff like this new water shortage fix drink your sweat so go ahead and drink your pee drink your sweat and don't worry you know you, you got to save water you got to conserve water uh for the uh for the spy center I like this art. Your future brain machine implant, ultrasonic neural dust. Well, we know that they're spraying aerosols, dust, metal particles, nanoparticles. That's the most important thing. So you already have dust in your brain, nanoparticles, that can uh, transmit, receive information. They're little tiny bots. And they run through your bloodstream, so they're running through your brain. So you already have this. Imagine, imagine thousands of particle size chips living in your brain. Imagine the CIA backing a $630,000 study into how to control the weather. So, you know, it's uh, pretty interesting because they've been already doing it and they're looking to keep doing it. They should get with all the other agencies and national laboratories and universities that are involved in this. And, um, and and maybe they can get the memo that's already taking place. They're a little behind the curve here. Microsoft trying to create a system that predicts your physical location in the future. So it says here that where are you going to be 285 days from now at 2 p.m. in their paper, Far Out, Predicting Long-Term Human Mobility. At first glance, researchers told us it sounds a very difficult problem. 
And lastly, on weather modification results, I don't know if this is a result of this, but I know that they're ma manipulating jet streams and golf streams. Hundreds of stingrays found dead on Mexican beach. So it remains a mystery. If you're driving somewhere, there's a government record of that. Chances are your local state police departments have photographs of your car in their files, noting that where you were driving on a particular day, even if you never did anything wrong. This is from the Associated Press. They use automated scanners. Uh, the cops across the country have amassed millions of digital records of the location and movement of every vehicle with a license plate, according to a study pu published by the ACLU. Affixed to police cars, bridges, buildings. They uh, basically capture these images of passing or parked vehicles and note their location, uploading the information into a police database. They keep the records for weeks or years, sometimes indefinitely. Such BS. All in the name of local terrorism. We all know about that, right? Local, because you know, there's terrorists coming out of the out of the uh, woodwork in your local town. Even small police agencies are able to uh, deploy this sophisticated surveillance system. That's because they get a lot of money from DHS and that. That's why they are now militarized. They say they assemble what is called a single high-resolution image of our lives. Researchers hack Verizon device and turn it into a mobile spy station. Not a very big surprise here if you do have a cell phone. But it says here that uh, experts say they figured out a way to spy on Verizon wireless mobile phone customers by hacking devices the U.S. carrier sells to boost wireless signals indoors. Then you have here a San Diego photojournalist detained for inappropriate uh, pictures from a sidewalk. So in San Diego, they were detained on a beach this month that their mother falsely accused him of video recording her son was detained again over the weekend, this time on suspicion that he was taking inappropriate pictures in the heart of downtown. So... When the journalist attempted to provide his press pass, which was issued by the San Diego Police Department, the officer still wasn't happy because it did not include his date of birth. More cops ended up surrounding him, but he stood his ground, and finally the cops backed off. He was also detained at the U.S. Customs Checkpoint near the Mexican border. I don't know if you guys remember this for shooting videos. Well, it's detained and handcuffed outside a nuclear plant, as you can see in the videos below. I think it was the FBI or Secret Service. Uh, agricultural gag in action. Ag gag? National Geographic photographer arrested after aerial photos of large-scale farming and cattle operations. And of course, the government, you know, always in the name of safety, protecting trade secrets and all that. Uh, you know, the, the state's there to um, to protect private property, not personal property, like your computers have, private property for corporations and to enforce contracts, and that's what they're doing. Spying on journalists, Department of Justice sets guidelines concerning government surveillance of members of the press. So they released a memorandum setting forth new guidelines concerning the government spying on members of the press. The Built on the front page of the New York Times is a major reform that would significantly narrow the circumstances under which journalist re records could be obtained. So it says here, it says here that uh, judge demands tech companies hand activist data over to Chevron. There's, Chevron's attempting to defend itself against a $18 billion judgment for dirty dealing in the Ecuador rainforest. So it says here a federal judge upheld a subpoena from Chevron seeking IP addresses and identity records of people, that's the activists, allegedly tied to the investigation. Issued a Google, Yahoo, Microsoft demanding IP usage records and identity information for holders of more than 100 email accounts, including environmental activists, journalists, and attorneys. This is interesting. Look at this. It says here that... Um, they got the IP addresses associated with every login to each account over a nine-year period. And blogs soon to be listed as mass media, says a report. This is in Russia, though. Russia's parliamentary majority party is considering a number of amendments that would make popular blogs the equivalent of mass media with applicable restrictions and obligations, i.e. licenses. So, and this is how they'll clamp down. This is not just Russia. This is the UK. This is possibly even the US. They've been discussing this, like, and not just internet licenses, but... Uh, to uh, get uh, basically permission to run a blog. So you see how it's all universal? It happens everywhere globally. U.S. repeals propaganda ban and spreads government-made news to Americans. I love this. It says a source explains that the reason for this is basically these poor communities, or not poor communities, but immigrant communities in America are thirsting for U.S. government propaganda but can't access it. You know, they didn't have the money. This reverses the anti-propaganda law. In France, Twitter grudgingly yields to pressure and will identify users accused of hate speech. And most of it's coming for what? To protect uh, against anti-Semitic speech. Germany leads attacks on far-right group. So it says here they've attacked several buildings in Germany, Switzerland, and Netherlands in search of evidence of intended terrorist assaults by the werewolf squ uh, squad or far-right group. Jewish leaders asked the European Union to block Polish kosher slaughter ban. Hungary asked IMF to leave the country after paying off their debt early. Millions of Americans living abroad.
And China's U.S. Treasury holdings hit a record $1.3 I'm going to make a third part, so join me in that part. Thank you.